In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. How to understand perfection. It's always been said, for someone to achieve their goals in life, they must first know what it is they are looking towards. So it is said, in order to be a perfect being, we must first understand perfection in itself. It's most common to think that if one were to achieve perfection, they will be remitted from all suffering and temptations of this life. Be sure to know that such views lead to chaos and loss of all senses. We ought to know that perfection does mean we are free from the pains caused by sin, but never are we free from the sufferings that purify one's soul allowing it to continue to be a perfect one. Just as the most perfect jewel does exist, he must continuously be cleansed and purified in order to maintain its shine and value. Sufferings and hardships we endure in this life are a constant reminder that we are living in a mortal flesh. As perfect as our soul may be, our bodies are never perfect. This will affect all bodily senses, which later on lead to heartaches and misunderstandings of life. It is in such a state that we must constantly remind ourselves that we are slaves to our bodies and its senses. To overcome these dilemmas, the soul must arise once more and remind the body who its true master is. Yes, in this life, hardships may cause our bodies and hearts to exhaust. But please you remind yourself that at every moment your soul is rejoicing. And soon enough, you will reach that most perfect stage where the body does not matter no longer and only the soul is the most perfect means to praise God and reach the stage of perfection. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.